you gon' what you gon' do with that dessert? Do what do I need that? To a brand new episode of Black Rose. I am your host Daniel. If you missed the previous episode or the first episode, which isn't related to this one, make sure you check them out. The link's in the description below for you guys, just in case you missed them so far and you want to like catch up on what we've done. But if you, I'm going to tell you anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But what happened in the last episode is we found out more about what's been happening and stuff. And also, I'm recording this draft by the way. And um, we found out more of what's been happening. We found out that she's had a family of stuff who will be beside her, except from one person who I think she loved. And uh, she communicated with him through a beer monitor for the last thing, which is obviously what we've been doing. Then a lockdown system thing happened. Um, we need one more key for the visitation room, and that's apparently been lost by a child who used to hide under tables, which I think is a clue. And just loads of other stuff's been happening, and basically we're just going to hopefully figure out everything in this episode. Maybe get it finished, I'm not too sure, I'm not sure how long it's going to take. But let's get into this anyway. Okay, so I don't know where we're supposed to go now. I think we need to go back into the basement and try and find... Oh, wait, there's another note. That's the child who's been hiding on the tables. Um, but I think we've got to try and find a secret door in the basement, basically. <laughs> basically. Still haven't buried them. Sullivan has been lying in his I think there'll be more talking in this one from these as well. Myrtle for three. Because Conrad refused to touch Myrtle's coffin after her funeral, it had to be put aside so Sullivan could have his. Conrad still simply doesn't want to have anything to do with the burial of either of them, even if all he's doing is preparing a future grave without actually touching the coffins. I'm starting to wonder if he had some type of unpleasant encounter with Myrtle and Sullivan's coffins, or he heard some absurd rumor about their corpses. What's sad is that Myrtle and Sullivan don't have relatives who care enough about their burials to actually do something about this. Michael was embarrassed to have to tell all the relatives and friends that the actual burials couldn't be held yet. Even so, none of them objected. Maybe they just didn't see a point in doing so, considering the person they would be doing it for is already gone. I don't know. It's kind of shit thing in it, really. As far as feeling nervous around coffins, I do get a strange vibe now in the visitation room. The atmosphere in there is starting to feel different. The air feels heavier, a little bit oppressive, even. It seems to be more noticeable today than it was yesterday. I'm not quite sure if I believe in ghosts or not, but it seems to fit what I've heard before about vocations having uncomfortable negative energy due to evil or extremely upset spirits. Maybe it's just normal stuff here. air. There aren't any windows in there and it is the middle of summer. So she didn't even have a family who cared about her to, uh, who cared about her enough to bury her. That's actually really not sad. That's so sad. Okay, so... Wait, where am I? Okay. Where do I need to go now then? But honestly, that sucks. Do I need to go in here? Family room. He did talk about this. Still pretty warped. Okay, I don't want to go back down. I do want to go back down there. There's a fucking note. What am I all about? I didn't want to come down here, but he did say this is where she used to go and hide for a bit. Either here or the Turns basement. Turns out that so. Devin got into the morgue by stealing Sullivan's key card from the office. Mrs. Rains had been in there and forgot to lock it when she left. Nobody knows exactly how the kid figured out the passcode, but considering what a flake his mother is, that's probably just something else she inadvertently compromised. They're burying Sullivan with a few of his belongings from the funeral home. I guess because he had worked here for so long and was so loyal to his job. Michael revealed that one of those belongings is Sullivan's key card. Of course, they would need to deactivate it from the system to avoid any breaches in the chance that it was stolen. But then again, Mrs. Rains would be the one who would do that. I discovered earlier today that Devin had stolen the system lock override key as well and hidden it somewhere in the building. This has got to be the most troublesome, ill-behaved kid I have ever encountered. Okay, so when I was saying that maybe him hiding under the tables and stuff was a clue, maybe that's where he's hidden one of the key, ca uh, the system lock override key, because it's. I don't know, but I don't know where I'd be able to find him. Can I go in here?
Okay, I'm not dead. Thank you. Okay, so... There's a kid who's a little asshole who used to fucking steal everything. I've already read that note, Anna. And basically... He's done something... Which his mother's helped him with by being a fucking... Slut, basically. Oh my god, this is actually really interesting. You know what's that? Uh, it's just, just texture, what am I doing? Right, I'm gonna check in here just to see if there's any notes we're out. Lying about, no, nothing. Okay. <sighs> Should I go? Yeah, I've got to go back into the basement now, haven't I? Oh, I could go check the fireplace necessarily. I guess I should check the fireplace first, just to see if I can do anything. And then, I don't know after that. Okay, let's, can I do anything? No. Well, I can't do anything here, so I guess I've got to go back into the basement and try and find a secret room. Unless actually, I'll check over here quickly, just to see if there's anything over here which could help. Nope. Okay, straight into the basement. So, foam right. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Are you ready for this? Fan. I'm coming down for you again. Oh, God. Right, I've got to find a secret room now. So, I guess... Check everywhere. Like, leave nowhere unsearched. Otherwise... That could be our demise. I'm gonna push a wall in or something. Can I like just break through a wall? Just be like, you know what, fuck this. Break through the wall. Okay. I don't want to go back to a coffin just in case. <gasps> Maybe this is a secret room. It does seem kinda weird that this is just here on its own, to be honest. Anything in here? Oh wait, this no. What the hell then? Where do I go? Fuck me, man. Please don't be out. What? Okay. What? Where am I supposed to go then if I can't go there? I'm sure I've just checked all basement. What? So I've checked all the basement. Wait, maybe under the stairs. Secret Harry Potter room? Anywhere? Wait, can I push one of these in? Please! Harry! Fuck it. Wait, what was that? Was that just the texture of the stairs? Yeah, it was. Good damn it. I am so confused right now. Where? Is this... Oh, maybe... No, this is just the balcony, isn't it? Oh, my God. Right. There's got to be something I'm missing. Oh! Okay. Grief stricken man killed by train after blinding himself. Jesus Christ. Oh! It, 57 year old Sullivan James. He killed himself? 51 year, uh, 57 year old Sullivan James, one of two funeral directors at the Chan, Chan Mia Hills funeral home, was killed Monday after he tripped and fell onto the tracks of an oncoming train. According to his co-workers at the funeral home, James had slipped into a state of grief-stricken hysteria just minutes earlier, after experiencing an emotional breakdown over the death of a childhood friend and co-worker, Myrtle Varnworth, who had been suffering from a severe brain tumour, which doctors had deemed inoper inoperable. Ms. Varnworth passed away nine days after the end of her predicted death date. James, who was devastated, 
apparently gouged out his own eyes using a scalpel from the funeral home's preparation room and managed to scramble out a nearby window. Jesus fucking Christ! Miles Treadman, an embalmer at Chanmere Hill and Hill's funeral home and a short time co-worker of Mr. James had begun to chase the frenzied man through the field behind the building but was not able to catch him before he reached a nearby segment of railroad tracks and tripped falling down on top of them. Treadman and a few other eyewitnesses reported that James made no attempt to get up as the train quickly rolled in. Grief stricken, Sullivan James was killed on impact. The fast moving train hit him with such force that it was severed into three, severed into three pieces. Fucking hell. It has been speculated by those who knew the man that, his, that this fatal episode had driven was driven by a girl, I can't fucking speak now, for not for not treating his longtime friend how he had be, how he believed he should have. Oh, that's them to his children. Nice. This double tragedy at the Chanmere Hills funeral home had sparked a great deal of public interest in the site and has become an attraction for loitering and vandalism among young people. In the three days that have passed since the incident, three arrests have already been made. They never buried either of them, and both are still here. Okay, so the thing that I was going to say with Sullivan is there's some things in his coffin which we need to find. So, there's something written on the back. They say that if you take his rose, he wakes up. That's the only way his coffin will open. I heard that he also tears you into three pieces if he quacks catches you. So you've got to take his rose and he's going to rip me into three pieces. There's something under the table. <gasps> no, no, it's going to be the kid, isn't it? Off. Oh, fucking wanker. I fucking knew the table had something to do with it. They won't find it. Ever. There's a kid in here. It's labelled V Room 2. Yes! Okay. I've got the visitation key room two thing. Go to the visitation. Go to the. Go. Right, you dickhead. So go into the visitation. All those attending the funeral service for Sullivan James, please gather in the visitation room. No, we need to go into the visitation room for Sullivan James's funeral. Was that showing us what's happened in the. Thingy? Oh my god. This man. Okay. So we're off to his funeral now, I guess. Oh, where his coffin might be. I can't see anything. Okay, there's some of. <gasps> it is his coffin! Dare you. Dare you. Double dare you. Right, we've got to take the rose, haven't we? Fuck it. There's a black origami rose lying on top of the coffin. Take. Oh, Myrtle's put that. Oh, okay, yeah, she died a day later, didn't she? Okay, right, we're taking it. Sorry, mate. Thank you. Okay. I don't want to look around anymore, I think. <gasps> okay. What the? Sullivan James was blind as a bat. Sullivan James fell down flat. Sullivan James is withered and blue. Sullivan James is coming for oh. you. Did I have, was I supposed to do something there? 
I think I was supposed to do... Oh, for goodness. All right. Right, we're trying it again. I, I want to try that again. I didn't see this last time. What? I don't know what that's supposed to be showing me. It says there's a key, but I don't know why it's supposed to be showing me. I guess there's a key somewhere. Does it mean in here there's a key? Wait a sec. I don't know if that means there's a, there's a key in here for me to open the door next time to get out. Or... Fuck off. Right, let's just look. I'm going to click on everything. Just in case there's a key somewhere. Please. Give me a key. Come on. Come on, you little fucking bastards. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, that's loud. Mm. Okay, fuck it. Fuck it. We're doing it. Yep, take it. Yep, thank you. Thank you, Sullivan James. Thank you. Thank you, little bastard. Thank you. Oh, you fucking twat. Okay. <sighs> Can I go look at his body, actually? God, he's Sullivan been so like James like was blind as a bat. Sullivan James fell down flat. Sullivan James is going to kill me as soon as he gets a bit damned blue. Sullivan James is coming for you. Okay, bye, mate. Bye, mate. I'm so fucking scared right now. Ah, that really happened. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Come on, I'm running in circles. I am running in circles. It's not doing anything for me. What am I supposed to do there? Uh, there's got to be something before it. There's got to be, but... I don't know, we're going to have to leave it for the next episode. Well, anyway guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you check out the previous episodes I've linked in the description below for you guys, just in case you missed any of the ones we have done so far. But, I honestly thought this game was only going to be like two episodes long. So far it's free, and we've still not finished it. So I'm guessing there's going to be like another one or two more episodes. Depends how well we do it. But, pardon me. Hopefully we'll figure it out. Like, what I'm going to do next time is I'm just going to like... Run in a circle just like I did for a little bit then. Go back, pardon me, go back to the door, maybe see some stuff. I don't fucking know. We're just going to try and figure out what we have to do to get away from him. But, yeah, hopefully we can do that soon. Well, anyway, I'll see you soon. I'll speak to you later.